Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to another show, Jim Hall. You ought to know. And we're in Hesperia, California, here in the high desert. In fact, we're in a unique place. You can find some unique items, such as some antiques, like what we have right here. In fact, you're going to see all types of antiques under about 8,000 square feet of room right here in Hesperia. It's called Carriage House Antiques. And we're going to find out a little bit about the history of antiques. Maybe you're a collector. Maybe you have some old furniture. Maybe you like to improve the look of your home, your office, whatever it takes. A lot of things here. I'm a Coca-Cola fan. You're going to see some Coke antiques and some collectible lunch boxes. And you'll even see a whole lot of games, puzzles, kids' toys. It's all here. Carriage House Antiques is where we are on this particular show. We brought you out to Hesperia, California, simply because you ought to know. Stay with us. Antiques are up next. Welcome back, everybody. Jim Hall, you ought to know. And we're in Hesperia, California, here in the high desert. In fact, you can look it up on the Internet. Real easy to find. It's Carriage House Antiques. And with me, introduce yourselves. I'm Paul. And you I'm are? Lenny Lynn. Okay. Now tell us about this facility. We've been watching this come along for a long time. And things that may surprise people. This is my first time through the door. It certainly surprises me what is here. Talk about that, Bunny. Well, um, we built this and opened up in December 11th, and we're almost 8,000 square feet, and we have everything from unique to chic to uh, rustic to refined, uh, new gifts, old things, just a lot of variety in here. It's well, you talk about a mixture there. You talk about new gifts, you talk about antiques, mm -hmm. and, uh, but how did you get this concept here in the high desert going? Well, I've been um, selling uh, in different shops around um, for the past eight years. Um, we bought the property, and we're going to build the building for you know future. And then decided we'd like to have our own uh, style of store up here in the high desert. Um, we go shopping other areas, other uh, cities, and saw things we liked. And so we just had a vision and um, something in our heart that we wanted to bring to the high desert. Uh, Paul, you've been a fan of antiques for a long time, or this sort of business, or? Uh, yeah, yeah, we have enjoyed antique shopping for quite a time, quite a long time. Where yeah. would you shop? Where would you go before this was here? Uh, before this was here, um, we would go down the hill to Riverside, down in Orange, uh, you know, Temecula. Temecula. Um, had to drive quite a ways to get a nice antique store. So that was one of the reasons we thought it'd be great to have some place up here. Well, I'm sure some, some viewers that know antiques and have been out and looking around certainly know the Orange Antique area, the circle there, and uh, some of the other plazas that have been around. But this is unique coming here for the first time to get it all under one roof, right? Yes, that's what we wanted. We wanted to have have kind of a homey feel, like a general store, but a classy feel and a place where you can come and relax. We have the tea area um, that's complimentary and just um, wanted it to be some place that someone enjoyed coming to. Well, and the name Carriage, you've got it here in the front window. We get a little bit of the shot of that, and that describes the business here. You can see it from the road out there, but uh, what is that carriage you have here? Well, that, that carriage is a uh, like an early 1900s doctor's buggy. And uh, we've got that, and we have another one that we pull around on a trailer for advertising. Um, we came up with the name Carriage House because we wanted something that kind of spoke of old times. And then we found the carriages uh, after we had chosen the name and thought it would be great to incorporate them in the store here. So. Talk about your background in, in dealing with these antiques or dealing with the, the, uh, what you have available here. And you actually do some repairs, you were telling me. Uh, yeah, we do do repairs on you know small items and, and minor repairs and stuff like that. A lot of times we'll take things in uh, that need a little bit of uh, work. We try not to refinish. We really like to keep things with the original finish, but minor repair work we'll do on them before we put them out for sale. Although sure. we do have a vendor here that does excellent refinishing work. And so if you do have an older item that you'd like it to look fresh and new, um, he strips and uh, refinishes them just beautifully, and he has some beautiful pieces in here also. Now you have uh, vendors, or do you have people that come in? They rent the spaces. Is right. that what we're doing? Right. Yeah. yeah, it's like a mall. It's like actually about 37 different stores in one store. <laughs> so that keeps a good variety and a um, lot of change going on. Now, how is that for you as the owner here of the building? Do you have your own antiques yeah, or your own setup in here and things you're selling? What are you selling in particular? Well, we have uh, about four different areas that we reserve for our own stuff. Mm -hmm. So out of the 8,000 square feet, we rent out probably 70% of it. And we have about 30% of our own stuff in here. So. so if I look for an Apple Skeever pan, would somebody have that back in there likely? 
you know, you never know. New things come in every day, and we also have a uh, book that we keep called The Want List. Mm -hmm. So if you come in looking for something we don't have it, we can put it down in there, and the, all the dealers look in that book to see what people are looking for and if they come across it. And we've, we've found several things for people because of that. Now, how many of your dealers that you have here? Are we calling them dealers? That's, dealers. Our, that's correct. Yeah, dealers, vendors, yeah. Okay, so our dealers that are here, leasing space and so on, um, do they go out and they look for these unique items? And they continually buy, too. Are they all from the high desert? Um, no, actually, we have a vendor that um, comes from Big Bear, mm. and um, she's in the spot. But majority, all of us are, Most yeah, them, some yeah. Wrightwood area, you know, but uh, mostly close by. And now you mentioned again, this opened back in December of 08, mm -hmm. and uh, things have continued to progress as you get this. Now, I've seen the trailer around, so that's been working effectively for you. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's been a lot of fun. Get a lot of looks pulling out around town. So. <laughs> people ever follow you here to see where it's going? Um, nobody's ever followed me here, but I've he seen people other places, like in the grocery store, and they'll say, oh, I saw you in the trailer. I followed you up Bear Valley Road. So we know people are, are seeing it out there, which is good. Well, people are seeing it, and how else can they find out about you? Is there a website set up now? Uh, yes, we do have a website, um, although I'll have to say it's not developed very well. It just has a picture of our building and the address and, and our uh, information. But we are doing advertising, Daily Press, uh, High Desert Magazine, um, the, just different things. Radio, we've had different ways, you know, trying to get our name out. We were at the Sperry Market Night. Uh, we've been having different vendors there on different nights, and that's been a way to get to know the community and let them know that we're here. So a phone number, if people want information about you, is what? Area code 760-948-5577. Okay, easy enough number to remember. Now we're going to take a look around the store here a little bit. In our next segment, we're going to go back and visit some of the antique uh, vendors' areas. I won't know if it's yours or not. You'll have to tell me if one of them is yours. We're going to pick an area and go look and talk about those antiques. You ready to do that? I'm ready. All right, don't go anywhere, everybody. We're going to be right back. We're at the Carriage House Antiques here on Hesperia Road in Hesperia. And again, you can look at the uh, Internet. You can go and get the information. You can give us a call right here, and you'll experience some of the best antiques in the high desert. In fact, we'll be back to talk about some of those simply because you ought to know. Stay with us. More yet to come. Welcome back, everybody. Jim Hall, you ought to know. And there is some cookies. There's some tea out here. There's a sitting area, and you can enjoy yourself here at the Carriage House Antiques. We're on Hesperia Road here in Hesperia, part of the high desert, and easy to find. You'll be able to look that up on the Internet. We'll have more information right here on the screen for you, and you can call and get information if you're looking for your favorite antique, whatever it may be, something you want for your home, your office, wherever it happens to be. I've got some specialty things I'm going to find today, but I'm going to come back and enjoy the tea and the cookies, too, in just a few minutes. Let's go on down here. Bunny and Paul, down here, some of the antiques we've talked about. And one of the areas I've picked right here has this antique crib, a small baby's crib here. Now, talk about that type of an item. Now, I don't, I'm not really concerned about the details of it, but you get a lot of this sort of thing in the store? Um, you know, it's actually one of a kind. I mean, you know, things will come in and out. We don't get a lot of it, so... Uh, we have a saying here, you should buy it when you see it because we may not get another one for and then other times a couple of them will show up. So we, it's kind of a treasure hunt. You never know what's going to be in here. What is a big requested item? If you've had people come through the doors in the last number of months, what's an item that people will come through and say, hey, I'm looking for this sort of item? What kind of item would that be if it's most popular? You know, uh, so many different things that people collect. Um, things like hall trees, we've had requests for that. But then we've had things, uh, special glassware or dishes. Um, you know, it, it's a really amazing. Everybody has something that they have a passion for and that they collect, and they're looking for that one item they haven't had or they haven't seen. Um, you know, Victorian glass, cranberry glass, we have a great vendor that c just finds really unusual pieces that you haven't seen in a long time. Those are popular. Our Victrolas, we've got great selection of Victrolas here and they're in awesome shape and so we have a lot of that kind of stuff just unique and um, everything f I, I, it's really hard to say because everybody has something else that they're interested in so 
what about quilts? People interested in quilts? Is there anybody, a vendor, anybody doing quilts in the store? Um, we do have some vendors that actually quilt. Um, I don't know that they have any for sale in here right now, um, but quilts are a popular item, especially if they're older and they've been hand done. Um, it just has that nice, warm, homey feel. So quilts are something that we carry in here all the time. All right, now I have uh, people that have asked, I've heard before, jewel tea dishes. Anybody remember the jewel yeah. tea? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have, we, we, sell that quite we have quite a bit of jewel tea products here, yeah. Now, Jewel Tea, I think, used to be a catalog at one point, and then they did open a few stores around, and you could get the Jewel Tea type product, right? Yeah. Right. That's right. It was like a free gift, and or you can buy this for that, and yeah, and now it's it's quite collectible, and uh, uh, we have quite a few pieces in here, actually, and sell them you know, quite often there's people collecting that. Well, when I asked for specific items that were popular, what about specific uh, genres? Or is toys a popular thing? Is watches a popular thing? Is uh, is the jewelry really doing that well these days? What what's out there? What's people looking for? It really varies. I mean, like she was saying earlier, um, we sell a lot of uh, toy items, and we do sell like old lunch boxes, vintage lunch boxes, uh, Coca-Cola products. Um, People collect all different kinds of things, and you'd be amazed at, at some of the things people collect. Uh, people come in every once in a while looking for things that I've never even heard of, and uh, it turns out they have a collection of them at home. So um, it's it's wide open. It what really do you think, Bunny? I, it, exactly that. I mean, uh, probably one of the things that, um, as far as jewelry, um, nice old pieces of costume jewelry, um, there are those that look for it. Then even, we have a lot in here that's inexpensive, um, that people make new jewelry out of old pieces, mm -hmm. you know, and that kind of thing. So that goes, old hats, that's a popular one too. People are looking for the yeah, old hats, yeah. Purses, yeah. Stuff yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. Well, there's certainly a lot of things I... When you look through the store, almost 8,000 square feet here, it looks like there's really something for everybody. So, I, I mean, that's the feeling I get walking into an establishment like this one. Yeah, absolutely. And that was really what we wanted. We, we've, with all of our different uh, dealers here, uh, we like the variety. We, we like that not everybody has the same things, that certain people ha um, enjoy this passion and they find this. And so it, there is something for everybody here. It is definitely a place, young or old, you probably would enjoy looking for a special gift or something for yourself. Now, if I wanted to be one of the dealers here, I had to, the, the desire and the want to and the, the knowledge to do that, uh, which I don't, but if I wanted to, what, what's it take for me to come over and do that with her? Well, um, the good news, yeah, list, I'm saying know? the good news, bad news is, is we um, have a waiting list, but the bad news is I'm not at this time taking any names because we had so many when we first opened up, so, um, and, and everybody seems to be doing well and enjoying it here, so, but you rent a case or you rent a space if we have the availability for it and uh, um, and then just do your thing everybody just has fun you know with their own particular style and and uh, types of items so we'll get out there and sell 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 once you got the space to do that exactly. uh, what's your one of your favorite items or things that you've seen here uh, I'm kind of partial to the a uh, little more masculine items you know I like the old fishing lures fishing creels uh, hunting kind of stuff knives and things like that um, so, you know, I mean, I'm not so much into the teacups and saucers, but, <laughs> you know, we have a lot of manly kind of items here as well. Right. In fact, we have an area in, um, that we've kind of labeled the Mantique area because it's got more of the uh, things that men are interested in and stuff. So we do have an area that, uh, guy stuff. <laughs> I've heard of Man Cave at home. My favorite room is a Man Cave, but I haven't heard of Mantiques. That's very good. I like that. <laughs> All right. Don't go anywhere, everybody. I told you we're going to show you some Coca-Cola stuff. We're headed back that direction. I'm going to show you some old baseball mitts, some baseball balls back there, even some old law enforcement gear. It's all here. I guess some old badges were back there I saw too. Stay with us. We're here at Carriage House Antiques on Hesperia Road in Hesperia simply because you ought to know.
Welcome back, everybody. Jim Hall at Carriage House Antiques on Hesperia Road in Hesperia, California. We're in the high desert. If you don't know where it is, you can look it up. Go to our website and get information, www.odysseytv.org, and you'll be able to watch our programming 24 hours a day there. And, of course, around the country on Charter Cable and Verizon Fios is where we are. We're here at Carriage House Antiques. Now, I mentioned Coca-Cola products. Uh, one of my favorite things. And we've got the old lunch pails down here. In fact, I spotted a Roy Rogers Dale Evans lunch pail back here in the back. Uh, if you want that one, right now it's on sale for $150. And I've seen them all the way up to $1,000. We've got the old Coca-Cola. I've got this one right here. I've got this very chest. And uh, this one is a premium. Um, I wouldn't sell mine probably for a little. I wouldn't go much under 800 This is half that price right now here. Coke in the bottles. All different prices, you can get them depending on what it is. There's the Christmas bottles, uh, Mickey Mouse bottles. They've got the specialties. They've got all different sizes. And you can get all types of different things here going that way. And so we talked about, you used the word mantiques. I'm going to come right across here back to Bunny and Paul. And Bunny, you talked about mantiques. Is this some of the mantique area? Yeah, it is actually. This whole back section here, you'll find everything from old tools, uh, fishing lures, uh, what else we got back there? It's like he, he's the one that likes that area, so he knows more what we've got Beer going. Signs, yeah, yeah. What, what is the deal, Paul? What is the deal with this? Because when we talk about this stuff, is it the value that you and I put on it or what it's worth to the person that walks through the door? A lot of it is what it's worth to the person that walks through the door. Um, we, uh, since we started selling uh, antiques, I really wanted to have an area that would, that would appeal to men, you know, because so many times the men are kind of bored when they come into antique stores and and uh, so we you set the price based on you know what something what somebody's willing to pay for something and the way the economy is right now honestly the, some of these prices in here are really really good like you mentioned on that coke cooler yeah so. now i know what i uh, found it for but i went for it for a different reason and i think a lot of the guys that i've talked to when you go into this it's uh, an emotional mm -hmm. nostalgia mm -hmm. what does my mom always say about nostalgia with, with all the stuff i'm buying it makes seems makes things seem twice as good as what they really were. Yes, that's absolutely true. And I, I can't even tell you how many times that that's people's comment. They, it's a feel-good um, place to shop because it brings back a lot of good memories. They see something that triggers something they forgot about. Um, it's something that my grandma had, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so well, it certainly puts a time marker right there. Mm -hmm. I can tell you the first time I encountered one of those, and it was 1950, whatever it was. <laughs> and uh, But it certainly brought back, and it's a time marker. And that's what it is with a lot of these things. You've got old, uh, in one of these cases here, the vendor has uh, motor oil. Right. There's old Pennzoil, Bright Lube, Pennzoil uh, specialty oil. Yeah. But these go back to the 19, that's got to be a 60, late 60, early 70s. Mm -hmm. Sure, that's about right. And uh, I personally used to work at a Texaco <coughs> station. So um, as I look around and, I, and I'm collecting things, uh, certain things will bring me back to my childhood or my young adult life. And uh, those are the kind of things that I like to hang around, you know, keep around the house and stuff or hang them in the garage. And so we have a lot of that kind of things here that will take people from their 50s back to their early 20s and maybe remind them when they were in high school or something like that. Well, I'm going to go back to ask that question again, uh, request type things. What do the ladies look for the most? Ladies. The ladies probably are looking for fine uh, china and crystal um, besides the jewelry, although we have a lot of ladies that like the rustic, um, worn out stuff, you know, that's really popular. Um, if it's beat up, they love it. You know, shabby chic is popular with the ladies, um, it's a nice look. And right now, um, things with the Paris chic kind of look, and we've got a lot of that in here. And Paul, the men that come around, what sets them off? Not the item so much. Is it the emotional buy? Is it the time factor? Is it nostalgia for the men? Or is it uh, more, I just, hey, I like that? I think it is mostly nostalgia. A lot of men come in here looking for fishing lures, um, fishing creels, bamboo fly rods, and they remember going you know, fishing with their grandfather and things like that. And so it does make a connection. And uh, those are the kind of things that most of the men are looking for. Well, it almost talks about and, and, and sounds like one of those Norman Rockwell type things where you bring back uh, mom, apple pie, the all-American way, and right. it, doesn't it all bring that right. back? And I think even right now, um, you know, People are looking for um, almost like that old security blanket, a time where they felt a little safer, felt a little more secure. And uh, I think old memories of things like that make you feel okay and feel happy. Well, and certainly you mentioned about the economic things being as they are and things improving a little bit, but it, it certainly makes you look back. You can't obviously look forward, but you right. can look back and say, I remember a better time or a happier time. Right. All right, and we have a way of kind of forgetting 
today. maybe yeah I'm forgetting um, what was and we remember the the important things and the happy things and and that is good I, I had a, a customer come in one time and uh, she had been here for quite a while and I just thought I'd see if she was okay if she needed anything and she said to me that um, she actually came in here because she um, her brother was in the hospital and she was feeling blue about it and she said I needed to think of somewhere I could go to just feel happy and and she came here for that and that really made me feel good to know well, that certainly that's exactly what I would say the the the, the time meant a uh, marker the uh, way of bringing back I mean it, it certainly has to bring back immediately that visual picture yeah absolutely and we have besides the things that are for sale we um, have our walls decorated with things that from everything from Hawaiian to old uh, what is that? A gas tank and, you know, old kitchen stuff. I mean, everything. So you visually you can see so much um, variety of eras and types of things. And so it'll just take you someplace you've been. Yeah, and Paul mentioned to me right before we run here to wrap up this show, even go in the bathrooms when you get here because right. things are on the wall for sale there. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> I have some of the old stuff at home that I'd do that with, but I'd do it right here. Carriage House Antiques is where we are, Hesperia Road. We'll be back to wrap this show up simply because... Look at this. Brings back memories. You ought to know. Stay with us. We'll be right back. That's going to put the wraps on another show, everybody. Jim Hall, you ought to know I've got my tea. I'm going to have a little spot of tea here with the young ladies. And uh, our cookies are here. We're at the Carriage House Antiques on Hesperia Road in Hesperia. And, you know, I found some goodies in there I'm going to be taking home with me today. I've got Tinker Toys, the old wooden toys. Caden's going to get those. In fact, he's not here for this show today. He's out there somewhere looking at toys. Uh, an old baseball mitt, going to get that too. And in fact, I found some Coke products that I don't have. We're going to get those too. Ladies, are you enjoying the tea? Mm -hmm. Very much, huh? Me too. We're right here at Carriage House Antiques, a little spot of tea. And 8,000 square feet of antiques here on Hesperia Road. Simply because, like with all of our shows, you ought to know. See you next time, everybody. Tea time. Cookies. <laughs>